Hola amigos. It's been a little over a month now since me and Pikachu have been together. And what we're gonna do today is you recall that we are gonna take on a little tour to the to the north of here, which is known as Saffron. I mean not a safari zone. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got a total that we can hold up to not 11 more items. But as much as I enjoy about Pokemon Yellow here and Dear My Heart Amigos, this is the part where it starts to become less fun in catching Pokemon, which I'll get to that later as we come along. But to make this challenge fair, just like the Snorlax, I've only got one, and in your call I've lost with the other one. And I have not started not even once here. Hi, sir. Sure thing. So welcome to Safari Zone, amigos. Now Safari Zone can get somewhat pretty fun, and I don't know about you guys, but this is a time limit based off of how many steps you do. Trainer tips: press the start button to get the get the check the remaining time. Which that's good to know. And what's this? Rest house. But the priority goal is that I'm gonna try to look through the safari zone. I just met that person recently. And back to my topic, I'm only gonna here to check the safari zone, but any Pokemon I may encounter on the way, I'll try to catch it to my utmost best. And, and to make it fair, I am not restarting not even the slightest once, because I wanna make it fair, and whatever I show is true to every second I sp speak about. But I'm gonna try to look at one of these grasses, see what we find. Now that's an execute. Now you get three Pokeballs, which this quality can get, this is the poorest quality, unfortunately. And you have a rock, which makes it angry. However, it may potentially make it run away, but it'll make it easier to catch. And bait will allow it to, so I'll throw, I'll throw a rock just to give a demonstration. So it's angry. Yep, so I expected. Because I threw a rock, it actually made Execute more likely to be caught. So we got a new Pokemon. Execute. Egg Pokemon. The heads attract each other and spin around. There must be six heads for it to maintain balance. And you're called the last episode, I've got a new box before I moved in here. Because I'm gonna need a new box. Since I didn't have enough room for box number two. Now this is where catching some Pokemon that are among the rarest gets to be pretty infamous. Due to the fact that this game kind of become a butt on this one, like it or not. In my personal opinion on some parts. Or it's not as fun to begin with. But other than that, everything's fun. I already caught Goldeen, so I'm not gonna bother wasting my time here. So I'm gonna look for one more Pokemon in this spot, and then we'll move on to the next box. That's a Paraset. It evolved form of Paris. So I'll use an item finder. North of Area 2 right now. It's a 
Tauros. This is going to get tough, though, because you may have to throw a rock, but it may run away. Yeah, I figure it was not going to be that simple. Because some can get so hard, you have to throw a rock just to even catch a Pokemon to make it more likely. Which is either said and done. There's an item here. A Carbus. I think that increased special defense, which is pretty good for one of my Pokemon that's really low on special. So I'm gonna check one more kind of Pokemon here, see what we find. Which is a Nidoran female, so we're not gonna bother wasting our time here. Now, this is not gonna be guaranteed we'll be able to get through this spot, but once we get through several times, it'll be a lot more faster, so this is gonna be a whole episode expecting to be going through the whole Safari Zone until we get to the destination we need to get to. But there may be some lost items in here that, that may come of use, so we might as well take the time. It'd be 500 points worth of money for every visit, so we might as well maximize it. Oh, Egg Bomb. That's, it's not accurate, but pretty strong when it comes to normal type Pokemon. One includes Chansey, as you recall, but we'll get the chance to see, talk about it once we even come across one. But I doubt it's gonna be that simple to catch a Chansey and other rare Pokemon, which is likely not gonna happen for this episode. I'll look at this nest, see what's here. Doesn't need a ram. So let's just get out of here. So, anything left here? Nope. But we'll get some information as we come along to maximize our time. Ooh, nice find. It's in full restore. Let's check it here. So how much time do I have? I got about 238 steps right now. So it's, the time is not clicking, it's by my how many steps I do. So I don't think there's anything, nope. So let's see. Let's check my item finder. There's nothing yet. What you can do is zigzag around a little bit, try to find a Pokemon. Which I'm gonna do a little bit of it. There's another Tauros. for finding the secret house. So that is our priority goal. We want to get to the secret house, but maybe not on the first try, unfortunately, because we spent so much time talking with other people. But as we get more experienced, we can try to get more advanced to the next area. So sure on my way around a little bit, so I'm gonna start from scratch learning this area. Looks like it just leads to a dead end, but we learned not to do that again. 
So let me get my bike out, and that way we can just bypass the spot. It doesn't lead to anywhere. But you can see how fast it consumed our time because of that. So we're not going to repeat that mistake again. So remember that from I mean, if you do your own Let's Play. So let's see, just another need around, but we're going to leave. We might as well just look around until a theme dong comes out. Yep, right around here. So how many items left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's make a quick trip to head back to the Pokemon Center and turn in some of the items. Because I know we have a max... Some of the items that we already have, them, we can just store in, but not the different kinds, to keep in mind. We're gonna need that HM in the future. So let me withdraw something just to see what we have. So we've got four store and we've got max potion, so we'll deposit those. So max potions, okay, we'll store that. And we'll store the full restore. Now we've got nine more items left, so let's fast forward so we don't have to waste too much time. Oops, wrong way. There we are. I want to go back to Safari Zones, please, sir. Another 500, I suspect. And thank you. way through the spot we already been. But at the same time, go in the nest, see if we can find anything. It's a right it's a it's a right horn. I got a feeling it's not gonna be that simple. Got one, nice! Got a Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn, Spikes Pokemon. A Pokemon with a one track mind. Once it, it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. That's a bit kind of fierce one. And that's the one that I've encountered from what Giovanni had back in the Celadon City. I'm not gonna bother going through the hassle of the ones we've already experienced. Have we come out this way yet? No. Nope. Just another need ram. So we'll just leave. Depending on which area you're in, it varies depending on what you're landing. There's more Nidorans than anything else in this region. Compared to the other ones, they're hard to find. here. So that already took us almost 300 steps to get there. So we can go down south, but what else is there to explore? Let's try up here.
There's a note here. It says area two. We're in area two right now. It's another Nidoran at mail level 36, but won't bother Nidorans for now. So we'll look around and take our time what we haven't found yet. Is there anything that we can progress? So let's go up to the north first. So nothing yet. And Nita Arena evolved for a meter and female. But we're not gonna catch it. We already have a Nidoran. Whoa, it's a Cubone. Nope. You can almost catch it. We'll try one more time and we have to use a rock. Oh, never mind. We've got one. Good deal. Let's check this data. Cubone, lonely Pokemon, wears the skull of its deceased mother. It cries echo inside the skull and come out as a sad melody. That's kind of sad. But I heard you can get from uh, Lavender Town Tower, but I haven't got lucky enough to get it. I wonder what this is. Let's check it out. A TM40. Let's check. Let's just see what it is. Skull Bash. That's a strong particular. I think that raised defense, but also charges up in one turn and unleashes in the following turn. It's another execute, but we're not going to bother catching it. Nothing responding. Let's see, any items here at all? No. Nope. Let's check one more. Just another execute. Let's check in the rest house. That's all things doing, gentlemen. Must be a different element of stone. So it's in the deepest part of the area of the safari zone. Yeah, I figured that was the case, which is why I decided to take my time looking for them and invest a bit of money in it as much as I can, so that way we can be able to make it worthwhile while we're at it. Oh, there's another item. Protein, nice. Let's see, let's try and look for another Pokemon right now here. Nothing, just a the arena. A Scyther at level 25. That's a rare one, but it won't be easy because it will run away once you throw a rock. Let's see if we catch one. Nope. Yeah, Scythers are not that common, and they are hard to catch, unfortunately. The only way you can catch it is by throwing a rock and hope for the best chances to result. Let's see, I think... 
Yeah, I think this is about the good time to do part one for now, amigos. I'll save the work. As proven, I've not restarted anything. And I'll meet you in part two. Hope you're enjoying it.